I gotta talk to you about some things. Okay. You remember that thing we were supposed to do for Frankie? Yeah. Okay, you remember that thing we were supposed to pick up a package, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? We were supposed to get a certain dollar amount yeah, yeah, for yeah, this yeah. package, right? Yeah, yeah. But we didn't fucking get it. What the fuck are you talking about? We didn't get enough, all right? We owe Frankie $2,000 by 3 a.m. tonight, okay? But we're screwed. We're screwed. Are you fucking kidding me? Listen, the only way we can get out of this mess is if we go there and we take that card games by ourselves, me and you. Are you That's it. Are you fucking nuts? We need to do this. Are you fucking nuts? No. No. No, that's not even possible. Even if that were possible, there's no way we could get away with it without Frankie finding out that it was us. And then once Frankie finds out, then you, you know that is. He ain't gonna find out it was us. Come on, what do you think we are, two types of chumps or something? Neither one of us has ties to him or his crew, right? Right? No beefs, no connections, nothing. Oh, fuck that, no. I don't know about this, all right? Hey, 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 listen. The only way we know about this game is because Vinny's cousin actually bartends there. So if they're gonna pin it on anyone, they're gonna pin it on him. And he's a piece of shit, so who cares, no, no, right? No, 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 fuck that. No, no, I, I no. Okay, I don't hey, know listen, listen, get over here. I... No one will know but you or me. No one. We already know where the card game is. Okay, small room, underneath JW subs, 800 square feet, not big. We should get married. What? I mean, I love you and all. We should just get married. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Would I get around about something like this? Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> what are you talking? We've only known each other for two weeks. You just don't fall in love with people that fast. Sure you do. Come on. I think we should get married and have kids. Like, like tons of kids. Like three or four. Three or four? Are you crazy? We barely even know each other. And now you're talking family and kids? Is that what you're worried about? Of course we don't know each other. Come on. But we got out to an amazing start. And I don't want to lose this connection. You know, if you lose a connection, you let it go, it's gone forever. You can't get it back. No way. Mm-mm. What are you talking about? I'm just talking about taking a chance. You know, leap of faith. I don't know much about you, okay? But what I do know is just the way my heart feels when you're around. You fill me up with so much life, love. When I'm around you, I feel like I can go out to the world and conquer it. I was just messing around about the kids and the marriage and stuff. So, you know, slow down. I mean, not right away. Uh -huh. You know, in a couple months from now, we can talk about it, you know, go with it. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. Would you like to bathe with me? I mean, we can get clean together and we can mate in there just to get it over with, if you'd like. No. The water makes my nipples sensitive. Okay. We were in the same fraternity together. We pledged together, don't you remember? Delta, Delta, Arr! He didn't even get in. No? Look, this is not the right place for you, and that's really the most delicate way I can put it. All you do all day is walk around and, and, and talk crap and stir up I trouble. No, you've been talking to Bonnie, haven't you? Have, haven't you? I can tell you something about Bonnie. What? No, no, never mind. Like what? What have I done? The pens. <laughs> you steal the pens. The pens? You won't steal the pens. No, me. you steal all the pens. And the pink post-it notes. What's up with that? Why just the pink one? Well, I don't really have to justify myself, I don't think. Okay. Well, who was it that put the x socks in the coffee last week? Hmm? Don't you shake your head at me. I couldn't stop pooping for three days. Three days. <laughs> well, I can explain that, okay? 
I overheard you saying that you were having problems with your digestive system. You know, you couldn't squeeze out the poops. Three freaking days! You know what? That's enough. You need to get out of my office. Where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do, huh? Get out! Okay. <laughs>